Have you guys ever seen these Riverside Retro RVs? Well, we just got in a 2023 Retro 135. You can see it's the turquoise exterior color. Let's go give it a tour. Well, hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona, and we just took in a very lightly used 2023 Riverside Retro RV 135. It's a single axle, no slide metal sided travel trailer that's perfect to be pulled by a very small vehicle. Total weight on this bad boy, 3640, so pretty dang light. We're gonna give it a full exterior tour, then jump inside and see what that has to offer. First unique thing about this bad boy is it is a rear entry, which actually gives you a decent little floor plan inside. It's tight because there is no slide, but it's not a bad unit for just two people traveling for a quick weekend. It does even come with an electric awning with an LED strip, takes up the full length of the coach. Like I said, single axle, but you got those turquoise painted hubcaps. Very retro style look. All your decals are in great condition on this thing. You got a couple exterior speakers, a full pass-through storage up front. We'll go both ways, a little bit bigger on the passenger side here. Stab jacks down below, you got four of them. Up front, you got a single battery, single propane, electric tongue jack, a spare tire that's also painted. Gotta love it. Then over on the driver's side here, we got more storage and all your hookups and water heater and dump station. 3640 on the weight cargo carrying capacity of 720 pounds so it's under 3,000 dry other side of that storage six gallon water heater 30 amp power service does have a connection to hook up a solar panel and a TV connection right there all your water connections plus the outdoor shower all easily accessible on the driver's side tires they're 2421 so late or middle of 2021 a few years old your dump station sewer connection waste holding tank all that fun stuff try to stay out of the sun here it's a very small trailer so there's not much to go through on the outside manual entry step in the back all right let's jump inside First thing you notice is that checker flooring inside. We had some rain here the other day. I'm sorry about the mess. Just took it in, of course, already made it dirty. Right when you walk into the right, you have your Furion fridge and freezer. We'll check out here in a second. Bathroom to our left, front bed, cute little jackknife sofa. So let's look at the fridge really quick. It's kind of hard to get a decent angle on it just because the width you have right here between the bathroom and the fridge, but it's a great size. It's actually pretty dang massive for the size of a trailer. Same with the freezer, look how deep that is. Thermostat right here for your AC unit, which is non-ducted, but direct out a unit. You don't need a ducted unit in something this size. Your Furion kind of multimedia device. Got some storage up there, some storage here with some added shelving in there. Give you a quick shot of the front bed. It's pretty much a queen bed. No storage around it except for your closet. And then a little bit of a cubby storage behind and a small little cubby up above. Your kitchen, just in front of that, you got a microwave, real backsplash, two burner stove top, sink, and some decent storage. Couple of these drawers matching branded microwave emergency exit right over there like i said a little upper cubby i'm not sure what you'd store up here but you've got some storage which is nice standard strung shades all black it looks like in this trailer now this will turn into a sleeper area it does also have some storage down below as you can see let's see if we can do this with one hand lift up pull out and you got yourself a decent little sleeping area. I highly doubt, let's see, can I get this back into place with one hand? Maybe? Yeah, we can. All right, good deal. So, TVs are, <laughs> couch is right there. TV's right across the way, right here. Oh, it looks like I got to connect, check my network connection. But it is on a full motion mount, so you can't angle that towards the bed. Behind that TV is your light control water heater, gas and electric, water pump, and your awning control. TV looks like it's on a tilting mount too. Look at that, this thing can go all over the daggum place. Pretty cool. 
try to get that back in the position. They do have a little strap right here that hooks onto this hood. Locks, <laughs> hooks onto the hood to keep that TV somewhat in place. In the rear here, we got the bathroom. Little plastic toilet down here. Decent amount of legroom in front. You got yourself a little mirror. Fantastic fan right above. A little insulation, but your shower right here. Not bad. I've seen smaller showers and dramatically bigger RVs. So pretty decent little floor plan. We are selling this by this bad boy for eighteen thousand dollars, seventeen nine ninety five to be exact. Here's our little sales sheet. If you want to see the floor plan, that's it right there. I highlighted the column that you need to look at for the specifications on this trailer. And then I couldn't find a brochure for 2023. This is a 2024. All the stuff that you see that has an asterisk was late, was added for the next model. So don't think that this trailer has it, but everything on that left column for the most part and the right column it should have. So there you guys go. 2023 retro riverside retro 135 cute little trailer great little starter trailer especially with that cute little turquoise exterior like i said 3600 pounds so very easily towable by a lot of different vehicles including just about every half ton truck out there maybe even some vans and suvs if you have any questions on this trailer go ahead and contact me i'll put all my contact info on the screen email text whatever it may be you're welcome to reach out Eighteen thousand dollars is what we're selling it for we're down in tucson arizona give me a call if i can help have a great day thanks for watching